take you away A-level biology provision on the estrus cycle. So the first thing that happens in, um, well, cycles don't be, obviously don't have beginning and endings, but if we think about it from humans, um, estrus cycle, if we say from day one, the first thing that happens is your FSH levels increase. This um, stimulates the follicles to develop so that the eggs start to mature. The FSH also then stimulates estrogen production, and this is used for, um, for building the lining of the uterus. So the estrogen levels are low at this point, and um, this so it inhibits the FSH. This is really important because it makes sure that no more follicles develop. So only that one follicle, which was triggered in the first place, starts to develop. And this is an example of positive feedback. So as the estrogen levels peak, this stimulates the pituitary glands to actually then increase the FSH and also to increase the LH. Now these are both examples of positive feedback, okay? So if we remember, if you have a look on your graphs while I'm going through this, you've got low estrogen levels to start off with and that inhibits the FSH. And that's quite important at that point because there's no follicles developing to maturity in the same cycle. There's only one follicle doing it. And then as the, F, as the estrogen peaks, that then stimulates the pituitary gland to increase the FSH and then also to increase the LH. So that's one of the few examples of positive feedback. Okay, right, so there's two reasons. The, the increase in the FSH, apparently, you don't need to know this for your AQA, but um, it actually what it does is it prepares the follicles ready for the next cycle, for the next estrus cycle if you don't get pregnant. So they've done some studies on animals where if they haven't had this peak in FSH, the follicle hasn't been um, ready for the next cycle through. So um, the other thing that we need to know about LH, obviously, is that that's um, the hormone which stimulates ovulation. So at this point when ovulation occurs, on your graph you'll see a peak in LH and a peak in FSH at the same time. And um, so once the, um, the egg's been released, your follicle, which is now going to be called a corpus luteum, that starts to produce progesterone. And the progesterone is important for two reasons. It maintains the lining of the uterus if a pregnancy is to occur. And it also inhibits LH and FSH, which obviously stops another um, egg being released if you've got pregnant or if the female has got pregnant, okay? And if no pregnancy then does occur, the progesterone levels fall and the cycle continues round. So remember with this cycle that um, although the human Easter cycle is 28 days. For AQA, on your exams, you may actually be shown graphs of, um, say, cows or sheep. And the application for that would obviously be for farmers, so they know when all of their, when the animals are coming into estrus, okay? So just be careful when you read the graphs that, and you don't get thrown, that because it's not the same cycle as for humans. Okay, brilliant. Thank you very much.